Hey everyone, my name is Chloe, and today I'm here to give you my Gilmore-a-thon TBR. So if you haven't heard of the Gilmore-a-thon, this is a readathon that I think maybe this is the second year, I don't know, but it's hosted by Heather from Bookables, and it's a Gilmore Girls-themed readathon. You guys, how perfect, and how exciting, and how fall. Like, Gilmore Girls and fall, it's they're cozy, they're sweet, they love coffee, it's so good. So I did not want to participate in this because TBRs have been freaking me out, like, and just readathons in general. I'm like, I don't want to do that. But then I just couldn't. My FOMO is too big. This is too fun. I had to participate. So the dates are November 15th through the 22nd. And so it's a week long. And there are seven prompts. Six of them are book prompts. And one is like a, a watching prompt. So let's just get into it. The first challenge is read a book set in a small town. So for that, I'm going to be reading Sunrise on Half Moon Bay by Robin Carr. This one is about two sisters who I think they're like 20 years apart or something ridiculous. One of them is like the super responsible one that kind of put her career on hold and everything to take care of their ailing parents. And then the other one has like this super career, but her marriage is failing. And so they have to come together, I think, and just, it's a great sister story. I love women's fiction. I love love sister stories and I think this is a standalone from Robin Carr so um, I can't wait. I know it is also set in a small town. The next one is read a book with a mother-daughter relationship. So I'm going to be reading Regretting You by Colleen Hoover. This one is about a mother and a daughter who I guess just do not see eye to eye. They are as opposite as they can be and the mother really wants the daughter not to follow in her footsteps because she got pregnant really young and kind of like, again, put her life on hold because she had this baby. Now, their personalities, I guess, are just completely different. And the only thing kind of holding them together and keeping sanity is the dad, the husband, you know, the father figure in this book. And something happens to him. So I think it is just this very complicated mother-daughter relationship. Next is read a book set in the fall or winter. So I'm going to be reading Burial Rites by Hannah Kent. Now, I did not read this, um, obviously, whenever it came out. I can't remember what year it was, but uh, it, it's quote it's a little blurb by Steve Donahue on the back. Is that the Steve Donahue? Somebody tell me. Sarah, tell me. Is that Steve Donahue? Does he write for the Washington Post? I don't think so because he writes or he's in Boston. Anyway, that's a really big side tangent. Steve, if you're watching this, that's not you, right? I don't know. That'd be pretty dang cool if it was. But anyway, Burial Rights. This is about a woman who is on death row. It's set in Iceland, and she's on death row for killing somebody. And I've just heard the atmosphere of this book is so good. And I'm just really excited to read it. I don't know how I have not yet, but this is very, very wintry, I have heard. Next is read a book with complicated love interests. So I'm going to be reading The Christmas Room by Katherine Anderson. This one is complicated because it's about this woman who, um, she's a widow and she moves her like family with her kids to all of her pets, all of that. Like you can see there's, uh, there's a dog right here, but I think they've got multiple pets, whatever, moves to this new small town. And so this could count for small town too, but moves to this new small town and it, her, the construction on her house has not started. And so instead they have to live in this little like camper thing and the neighbor is not happy that they are there. And like, there's a lot of animals, they're living in this camper, there's a lot of kids, I think he's just not happy. However, the her son and his daughter start a relationship, bringing them together, so then I think they start a relationship. And I think that is always so interesting, like Father the Bride kind of thing, when it, or, or even like, there's another movie that I think has maybe Diane Keaton or something, but um, where it's like, the kids are together and the parents are together. It's just really awkward and complicated. And so I can't wait. This one is a Christmas book that's been on my shelf for a long time and I'm really excited to read it. Next is read a book by an Asian author or that has Asian representation. Now this is to represent Lane, um, the best friend in Gilmore Girls. And I love that. Um, 
So I'm reading The Way You Make Me Feel by Maureen Gu. Again, another one that I don't know how I missed the missed the boat on this. I really like to wait on like really hyped books. So I think I got this um, after the hype and just have like wanted to wait until it died down. So this is about a high school girl who um, has all these summer plans, but then she has to stay and work at her parents or her dad's um, food truck. And so she has to work with this boy that she doesn't like. And uh, I just think it'll be really interesting. Then number six is the like action prompt, and that is bake a fall treat and watch your favorite episode. So, um, fall baking is my favorite. I don't know like what I'll bake or if I'll bake or whatever, but and then watching Gilmore Girls, like it's one of those things that I will turn on to have in the background just because it's so comforting to me. And especially now that I have girls, I'm like, I want to be Rory and Lorelai, I want that relationship, I think they're so fun. Um, so this one, at least watching, I don't think I have a favorite episode, but watching Gilmore Girls will definitely happen. Then the last one is read the next book in a series that you have not finished. So I will be reading Meg Cabot's Size 12 and Ready to Rock. This is, I think, number four in her Heather Wells series. And these are like, um, oh man, sorry. They they are kind of like a um, mystery slash chiclet series. Heather Wells is this woman who she used to be a um, pop star and then things happened and she's no longer a pop star. She works in a residence hall at a university in New York City and she solves all these murder mysteries. So it's a little bit cozy mystery, a little bit rom-com, a little bit chiclet, like just they're fun. Um, I think they're like three, three and a half star books for me. So my hopes aren't super high on this, but I'm excited to continue on. I think it's a five book series and this is number four. So that is my gilmore -thon TBR. If you are participating, let me know. Um, like I said, I like read -a -thons, I'm trying to take it easy on them because it's easy for them to overwhelm me. But this one is just too fun. I cannot not participate. So if you're participating, let me know. If you have read any of the books that I am like going to read, let me know if I should prioritize. I don't think I'm going to read them in order, but I don't know. Um, let me know what I should prioritize. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.